hello lads and ladies and welcome back for another video on the channel today is Fleetwood Town against Northampton Town Northampton 59 points from there 43 games so far looking to get into the 60s that would mark a great season for John Brady's men I kind of think that he's been one of the managers of the year he won't get mentioned because the mid table they'll give mentions to like Sir Richie Wellens, John Messino, Steve Evans um, you know, Paul Warren, there's just you know, mentioning a few, but Northampton have had a really good season this year. Um, you know, very consistent but inconsistent at the same time. But from what you expect from Northampton, they've done a really, really good job this season. For Fleetwood, if we lose today, lose on Tuesday, we'll be relegated out of the division pretty much. A massive thank you for all the support recently. We are so close. Just over 100 subscribers away from 14,000 subscribers. If you could help me out down below by subscribing, that would be massively appreciated. Um, and also like the video as well. Can we go for, we'll go for 300 likes again. That would be a big, uh, a big landmark as well. And a big thank you to them for the nice comments this season as well. Look, I know I'm not the best content creator in the world, uh, but I am in the top one. As Cluffy would say. Um, but anyway, big game today. Fleetwood entertain Northampton. Fleetwood, if we win, it breathes a bit of hope. Look, we're going to have to win every single game or at least get 10 points in my eyes. We've won seven games all season. Come on now. It's not going to realistically happen. We've got four games. Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy the ride. I keep saying it. Be positive. And next season is a new challenge. It's about staying in League Two. Now, the budget will be cut. No ownership. Still inexperienced man. Although I like Char and I want to back him. You know, we've got to be realistic with what we're going to do next season. Let's just you know enjoy the fact that we're going to be in a league that we, you know we can probably compete in. You know for our side, we can't continue to lose six million pounds. We can't continue to pay nearly four hundred thousand pounds in agent fees. It's a big year for Fleetwood next year. If you can see in the football league, right through the tough times. I think we'll be just okay. Northampton do the basics so well. That's what we need today if we're going to get three points. A big win today. I actually feel we're going to win 2 0 today. I said that now, it's going to be 0 0. Come on now! It really feels like today could be the day, the final day on the coffee. It's there, it's there. Look at the way the could take us three points to drink. That is support by Northampton. For a club that get about 6 7 k at home, the season is over, you know, mid-table in League One, which is a really good season for them. A big start, you know, the Cod Army needed it, you know, as it stands, with four points of risk as a result of standing, you know, it's a big start. The boys have just got to keep going, keep creating chances, they're going through the motions, but they're a team that, if they keep it at 1-0, you never know. I can't remember the last time we started this well, where we actually scored a goal, but creating other big opportunities, normally we're creating an opportunity, not taking it. We have more shots on target in 11 minutes than we have in the last 11 months at this rate. We've tested the goalkeeper four or five times. We're half an hour in and we could have had at least four. And Northampton is so effective against teams like Fleetwood, teams like Carla, at six fields, beat the bottom five and beat six of the bottom seven. Please! big moment in the game and we deserve it we could have had two or three more and that's what I'm thinking of instead of having the two goals that we've got but for once we've taken advantage of our opportunities but normally we create two or three opportunities we've not taken two we've created eight and scored two so it's kind of still we're not taking chances you know it's the clinical we should be doing but Brendan got the ball scrappy put the ball through go on Promise! It is so bad one on one! All we can do is 
my job. It's out of our hands, realistically. And you always say, don't worry about things you can't control. And look, don't worry about things you can't control. We win our games. We've done what we can for four games. Fortunately, the other 42 games haven't been good enough. We're winning at our time. Promise, I've said it all along, and Tony says it as well, that he likes to get a lot of height on his shot, and one on one. That should be number three. It's fun to one of those moments in the match where nothing really is happening. You've just got to get through it, because if they get a goal, they get it back on. Lord Van is reminding us why we are where we are in the table. Miss Table and Craig Chance has opened us up. We were 11 or 12 minutes in, and that chance from Promise right away was the chance to be had. Just got to keep it with 2 0 or we'll get us in. Look, we're 2 0 up, and the job hasn't been done. It's been very boring in the second half, but I don't care. It's about winning now. We've got three games after this that we need to win. still six adrift and we played Peter for Tuesday. If Burton beat Cheltenham, we lose to Peterborough, but we're still relegated. Um, but it's still in our hands. Now the time is a bit, I'm saying it's still in our hands. It's still in our hands of when we get relegated. Uh, not for we're going to stay up. But well, it's been a good decade, hasn't it? And we played well today, but they think they come around once every 15 games a season, it's not good enough. We've had opportunities when other teams have lost and we've drawn for Soros at home with every team in the bottom area. I think most of them lost, we drew. If we, if we that period when we played with Soros and Charlton at home, we got two points, should have won one. Also, not been good enough. Those six games where we played Northampton in it, lost to Stevenage 3 0, went to Cambridge in the FA Cup, lost 4 0, Derby in the Cup 3 0. Um, Lots of Northampton, lost to Peter, drew to put, uh, Portsmouth, drew to Carlisle, lost to Bolton. That period in the four games after we under Adam, I sent this club down. That is it, that period. So basically, right, we've got to match the result against Cheltenham at home. Uh, Peter away. Another 4 0 down today. In my opinion, you're the best second in the division. We've got one of the worst events in the league on, on goals conceded. Um, they're one of the best sides in the league at home. Um, I've got one of the best front threes in the division, front fours if you want to call it that. Best team, just won the cup at Wembley. I'm going to be wearing to go after 4 0 for three. We've been good today, we could have scored 6 or 7, they could have had a couple to be fair. But look, it's 2 0, we've done our job today. Look, the reality on Tuesday isn't on today, it isn't on the last week, here in the Charlie. It's on all season. Uh, I keep listening to Jake's motto thinking, don't worry about the stuff you can't control. We didn't have scored, then they would, but on the tick. Um, Steam is uh, have scored against Burton, 88 minutes. Oh, we need something in that game. I mean, you know, this game's done in my eyes, so we're going to win 3 2. I'm, I'm just looking at all the results, because that's all we can do and when you've done your job. Oh. Now, Port Vale have bottled the team the lead, and I knew when we went to the down against them, and called it back, they had no mentality. Um, and we just opened the scene with the face score, it's four points of drift. Big win, that.
titles are. Thank you for watching. Please like.